A lot of people are in trouble. They lost a job, they don't have income, uh, or they lost somebody. So it's really, people are struggling. Now at five amid this crisis, some dramatic images from Opalaka tonight. A huge line of people waiting in line for hours just to get three fruits and free fruits and vegetables. CBS 4's Peter Dench has more on feeding South Florida, which was a huge part of this effort, and those getting some much needed help. It's a sign of the demand for food. This distribution site opened up at nine in the morning at Shimondi Park. The police chief tells me some people were here as early as 3.30 in the morning. Chopper 4 shows a mile-long line in Opalaka. Hundreds of people line up for hours for much-needed food. Oh, I feel good, you know, like I said. Bottom line is we need it. This is a very good help because a lot of people are in trouble. They lost a job, they don't have income, uh, or they lost somebody. So it's really, people are struggling. There is enough fruit and vegetables here for 1,500 families. Right now we have asparagus, uh, bell peppers, uh, dragon fruit, cucumbers, corn, and quite a few other, it's fresh, all produce. People were told to drive up with their trunks open. So we want to make sure that we do a drive through make sure it's sanitized to so where every volunteer has on masks, gloves, the people are, are parking their cars, or putting food in their trunks to ensure that everything is safe. It is a massive effort involving police and volunteers. Um, this is a collaboration between the city of Opelika and Feeding South Florida. Inside the Feeding South Florida warehouse in Pembroke Park, it is busier than ever, says President Paco Velez. Last year, uh, these last four weeks, we distributed about six million pounds of food to the four county area from Palm Beach down to the Keys. These last same four weeks this year, we distributed over 10 and a half million pounds of food to those families who are really struggling. Velez says this crisis is unique. We're limited on the amount of food that we can bring in from all over the country just because the entire country has been impacted. We're limited about um, the number of volunteers that we can have in our facility at one time. Uh, because we're not allowed to congregate. Velez says these food distributions show us sobering images. Our families are scared. Our families are desperate. Um, they, they're, the biggest fear for them is the unknown. Back in Opalaka, Cindy Vasquez was in this line for three hours and says it was worth the wait. I think this is a great, it's a great, it's a great um, thing to do for the community. It's something that everybody needs right now. We're in a crisis, and I think it's fantastic what they're doing. This food distribution site here at Chibande Park will be open next Tuesday. We're told it'll be open every Tuesday. It's open to anyone in the public, and with the demand that we saw, it's probably a good idea to get here early. In Opalaka, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.